Hi YouTube. I decided to add another screwdriver to my uh, little screwdriver collection for electronics. I wanted to get a little bigger one uh, with uh, more torque and adjustable torque as well. I'm still using this little uh, screwdriver I reviewed some time ago. This is a great screwdriver for precision work. This one's not going anywhere. This might gonna be replaced with one of these. And I was actually deciding on which one to get. This new second generation works, which is WX242L or Amazon Basics, which, which is, this Amazon Basics is like 20 bucks. This is a really good deal for this screwdriver. Absolutely, this is a great screwdriver for some stuff. I would say this is not really good for uh, game consoles. This is the main reason I, I, I uh, decided to get an hour screwdriver to remove the screws from the game consoles. Uh, and after I tried this, I decided to get this one to check it out. Because I was uh, watching some reviews on this work second generation and also Bosch Go Free, which is not actually available. Uh, it's available, but not really, so it costs a lot more than this. This is like 45 bucks right now on Amazon. So uh, after testing this one, as I said, I got this one and I'm keeping this one. This one, it's gonna go. But the main reason this is gonna go, uh, what I don't like about it is it does have adjustable torque, as you can see here. So not to over torque, you just have to kind of let it go which is not ideal, as you can see. So it's either let it go, or another option is let it finish at setting number one. However, let's see what happens if you do that. See, it blinks two lights and for about five seconds, you cannot use the screwdriver once again. It overloads basically. See, you cannot use the screwdriver for like five seconds. And this torque is a little too much for the for the PlayStation. And the good thing about works, it has a lock as well. So that locks the the bit inside. Compared to this Amazon Basics, this is just magnetic. So this one locks inside. And the setting number two seems to be pretty good for the PlayStation. See, that was torqued pretty much with that setting number one on uh, Amazon Basics. So that's it. Perfect. It, it will not over torque and you can change the settings to one wherever to unscrew the screws. You can actually go all the way to five and uh, nothing like this will happen. Out, out, out. And to screw it back on, change it to two. Perfect. You can continue screwing right away. That's what I like about the screwdriver. Both screwdrivers have USB-C connection and they actually do charge from U real USB-C. So USB-C to USB-C. Not like some of the USB-C ones that can only charge from USB-A to USB-C. So these are real USB-C. Amazon Basics driver doesn't come as much. The cable and couple bits. Okay, that's all. That's about it. But for 20 bucks, it's good enough. And this works. Does come with some more bits and a nice case as well. I really like this case. To store it, 
so this is a plus two it's more than twice the price though but it is what it is and uh, as i said this one's probably going out it's overall a good screwdriver but same same kind of thing it kind of just stops it doesn't do that it doesn't have the mechanical torque adjustment so i really like this because of the mechanical torque adjustment this is pretty good for the electronics for the bigger electronics so uh, i'm gonna uh, put it in my uh, a description of the video underneath the video the link for it to amazon it's affiliated link so if you want to support me and if you like this screwdriver you can actually buy it through my link uh, i'm gonna make some uh, percentage and a commission and uh, i would really appreciate it and if you like my videos please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button to help me grow my channel so thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day guys